I'm going to introduce our next speaker. And I promise, SANUF is not a political organization. But on the program, it says message of support. So I know we often see those when there's an official program of government underway. I can confirm that our next guest is also not a politician as far as I know, but he is a trusted voice within the political space. He holds multiple qualifications, including a PhD in political science. He is the chairman of MENA. It has controlling stakes in multiple entities. He's an experienced business leader. And when he's bored, he writes articles telling us what to do about get this, getting this country back on track. So in a moment, he'll be coming up on stage to give us his message of support. Good evening, everyone. Thanks, Kathy, for the lovely introduction. Um, I'd like to acknowledge and greet uh, Judge President Molemela and another fellow former judge who's here, uh, Jerome Nguenya. He's, uh, he left the bench, but I'm proud to say I serve with him at MENA as a board member and other colleagues from MENA who are here, and fellow colleagues from the media industry and other stakeholders, our uh, co-sponsors for this event, I greet you all. It is a privilege to be standing here in support of SANEF. Uh, for me, it's a, yeah, I've got lots of mixed feelings about it because one foot of mine remains in the media, even though I have technically crossed the floor as a chairman of a private investment company, but I remain sort of loyal to the media. From time to time, as Kathy says, I still show where my loyalty is, my other half loyalty is. But being here also says something about the importance of the media and the private sector in working together for the common good. Someone might say, but you were at SANEF and you were editor of the Soweten, now you are the chairman of MENA and suddenly now MENA is being sponsored, MENA is sponsoring SANEF. Are you not conflicted? I call it the continuity of interest, not the conflict of interest. It's a continuity of interest because as the private sector who are conscious of where the country is at the moment and what the country needs, we have to acknowledge that we are part of a, an ecosystem. An ecosystem by its very nature means it is composed of interdependent elements. You upset one element, the entire ecosystem fails. So media freedom, political parties, civil society, a thriving private sector, ethical journalists, all of those things work together in an ecosystem that is balanced. And it's an ecosystem that should work within the ambit of our constitution. So we are very happy as MENA to support uh, SANEF and we say SANEF, may you grow further in your agenda to advance media freedom and ethical journalism. Without that, our democracy will be in jeopardy. Before I sit, I want to say uh, a few remarks about um, uh, judges. Kate, you have mentioned that we still have a long way to go in ensuring uh, proper gender representation and proper transformation of the judiciary. However, a huge milestone has been made. I remember in 2005, a certain young journalist who had hair at the time, but didn't have beard. Rumor has it now that he has got beard, but he has no hair. <laughs> that journalist covered the successful appointment of uh, the current Chief Justice, Mandis Amaya. At the time, 
Maya was taking her first major role in the Supreme Court of Appeal. She first arrived in that court on the 15th of February, 2005. And she told this journalist, whose name I shall not mention, except that he now has no hair but has got beard. So he told this journalist that when she first arrived at the court, a lot of the general workers, including the cleaners, were saying to her that, listen, you are using the wrong entrance of the court. Please use the right entrance. First, she didn't understand what this was all about. It went on for the whole week. They were correcting her, the gardeners. Please don't use that entrance. It's not for you. It's for other people. And it dawned on her that actually, they just didn't know that actually someone like her could be in that court. For them, it was unusual. It was un unbelievable that someone of her gender and color could be in that court. That's how she became when she became the first African woman to step into that court. And that journalist who at the time had hair and had not yet covered that story. And I want to say to uh, Molemela, at least Judge Molemela, that at least by the time you arrived, no one asked you that you were on the wrong entrance. That's the role of the media. We bring things to the light of the public. And as the corporate sector, we sponsor and make sure that the media thrives. It doesn't mean that we have to agree. The whole idea of the ecosystem is that there must be tension, but the tension must be containable. It must not break the ecosystem apart. Thank you.